So can you give some idea about the ballish tank and uh, why it is uh, necessary in the ship? Okay, ballast tank. Okay, please. Yes. In these technical workshops, specially created for the merchant navy decoded family, all your technical doubts related to IEC engines, pumps, as a marine engineer or as an electrical officer are sorted then and there by Chief Engineer Orvin Singh, sir. With a varied experience of being a Chief Engineer, a Technical Superintendent, a Educational Trainer at Anglo and Madam Training Center, he has the right knowledge. And yes, that is how we learn, that is how we grow. Let's just start. See the sample. See, ship is going from port A to port B. Let's say ship is one lakh tons dead weight. Dead weight means how much apart from ship's own weight, how much extra weight you are putting on it. Right, like it it could be cargo. Mostly it is cargo. Then you are putting some fuel also. Right, some water you may take. And of course, our crew weight, which is negligible. So more or less, it is the cargo weight. So one lakh tons dead weight ship will be carrying around one lakh tons of, let's say it's a VLCC, uh, not VLCC, it's a FRMX tanker. FRMX is a size. Okay, so that that the tanker vessel is called aframax if it is around it is more than one lakh and dead weight so it can carry from one port it can carry a cargo of one lakh tons or more from point a to point b so now when it is carrying cargo of course it will be sunk like this till this level i'm just saying it it is, let's say it is sunk at this level. So the level should be below or at the, the draft mark or you can say some dead weight lines here because that is allowed. Like you're in your common language, your, your trucks, let's say you're shifting, uh, uh, you're carrying bricks from one place to another truck you're loading. So there are ro local rules. You cannot overload the truck. Otherwise, it can cause accident. Yes, sir. Similarly, for ships also, there is a limit given. So, the more you load the ship, the more deeper it will sink. Right? So, there is a load line. You cannot go deeper than that. Means, the cargo you are carrying, your ship will sink till the load line mark. And anybody can see that from outside, how much the ship is loaded. Yes, sir. Okay, so now empty ship is also dangerous and access field is also dangerous. Why empty is dangerous? Then your ship condition will be something like this. You're hardly submerged in water. Correct? You're mostly out of the water and you can topple. Your ship can simply topple. Yes, sir. You understand toppling? It can simply? Yes, sir. Topple. All right. So when the cargo is there, then the ship cannot topple because ship is already down. It can sink because of its weight, but it cannot topple. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. So when the ship is empty, that voyage is called ballast voyage. Because of when the ship is going empty, it's called ballast voyage because it can't be completely empty. You have to fill some water, sea water in there, whatever water is available, you have to take in, in there so that it sinks down to certain level so that it, it is not completely above the water level, otherwise it will topple. Okay, sir. Okay, capsizing, we call that capsizing, technical word. So that shouldn't happen. So we take some water, sea water or sea river water in, inside it and that water is called ballast water. And that journey is called ballast voyage. Okay. That tank is known as ballast tank in which we uh, fill that water from which yes. pump, sir? Absolutely. So you cannot put you cannot put this water in the oil tanks. So let's say this is ship. Hmm. 
Now I'm just drawing the forward part of the ship. I'll cut it, cut the ship from here. Then you will see there are there are. This is a cargo tank, and on the side you have got ballast tanks. So this is ballast tank one. This is two, and this is three, like this. So you fill them with water, like this. Whatever want you want to fill, whatever level you will feel safe, you fill that with water. So this is called ballast water. So let's say let's say your cargo carrying capacity is one lakh tons. So normally in ballast voyage, you will take around twenty to thirty thousand tons, around one fourth to one third of you can say the capacity. So when you take such uh, water, then your level, your ship is sink to a very safe level. It will not topple, capsize नहीं करेगा, right? So that's Uh, so it's for the safety of the ship. One of and one of more uh, second reason is okay. So you make the ship seaworthy this way, right? Second reason is let's say this is a ship. So where do you want water level? Now you want water level to be here. One reason is it can topple. Second reason is what happens to the propeller? Propeller is out of the water. Yes, sir. So when the propeller is out of the water, it cannot give thrust. It cannot propel. So you have to sink the propeller. So much, the yes, sir. So at least situation should be like this. Propeller is submerged, submerged. in the water. Yes. So this is the reason. Sometimes you will see that after the ship is more into the water than the forward, because you what you do now, there are tanks here, which you fill with water. It's called aft peak tank. In the forward, there is a tank called fore peak tank here. So if you fill this aft peak tank more, and forward peak tank you keep slightly empty, then this side is going up and this side is going down. So your ship is down by stern, which is okay, no problem. So you just want to sink the propeller. However, during the ballast voyage, taking more than required ballast is also not good because you are unnecessarily increasing the ship drag. Fuel wastage, wastage of fuel. You are carrying nothing useful. Unnecessarily, you are loading the ship. Correct. Yes, sir. So both side you have to take care of. That means for the safety sake, you have to take water, and for the efficiency sake, you don't have to take too much of excess water. So there is an optimum level of water that you are required to take. Correct. Okay. Yes, sir. So next. So, uh, so one doubt. So the. Uh, The tank is filled with a normal centrifugal pump, or some different kind of uh, pumps are required to fill it up. Ballast pump or centrifugal pumps. Please remember this thing. Any water pump, except I would say bilge pump, they are mostly mostly centrifugal. Especially when the flow rate required is very high. And water, see, and you don't have any problem with pumping. See, Bella, there is a reason why we are not keeping bilge pump to be centrifugal, because you do not want to churn the oil water mixture. Because bilge, what is OWS doing? It is separating oil from water. So OWS before OWS, the pump used in the OWS system is bilge pump. so that is only only reason we are keeping it not keeping it as a centrifugal pump otherwise it's very easy you can always select what any water pump to be a centrifugal pump centrifugal pump is first choice except you have a specific reason not to select that right so 
I would say if you are like if you are if you do not know what pump is this, and you have to make a guesswork. So the 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 very obvious guesswork is centrifugal pump because in a ship, more than ninety percent of the pumps will be centrifugal. Centrifugal. I hope from this technical workshop you must have got a little bit idea ki how this workshop works. and why it is important for you to go through those dreamer package visionary package achiever package electrical package and never to shy away from investing on yourself because in the long run that is the only thing that pays so if you want faster promotions if you want respect on ship whether you are a marine engineer or a eto electrical officer these packages on merchant navy record website are meant for you jai hind jai bharat jai mata